I have worked as a GP in the same Sutton practice for 28 years. Due to the requirement for mandatory COVID vaccination by April, I am being forced to stop work, which I am very upset about. I've been a GP for 28 years and I've seen many illnesses, many patients um, in hospital and in general practice. I have learned to diagnose and to treat and to advise patients according to what I believe is the best interest of that patient. And never have we been told that something is mandatory, that we have to do something. We're used to being our own bosses. Sure, we have guidelines, but in general, we can decide on a day-to-day -day basis what we do. And to be forced to have a vaccination that we may not be entirely comfortable having ourselves, it's just wrong. It's incredible. My decision not to get vaccinated means I lose my job. Even the annual flu vaccination was never made mandatory. I'm just wanting to flag up that it's not just, we can't just focus on COVID. We have to look at all the other different areas, oncology, all the chronic diseases. There's so many patients who are being abandoned really because GPs are so busy focusing on boosters and, and other requirements that the other things are being missed and lost and it's really having a negative impact on everybody else. I'm calling for the government to reverse their decision for this mandatory vaccination for COVID. Um, I can just see a mass exodus of doctors and nurses and that's not going to help the patients or their families and that's what the NHS is there to help, that's what we are, we have, we have trained all our lives to do this. If the Covid vaccine continues to be mandatory by April, the NHS will struggle to cope. This policy makes no sense, particularly because besides doctors and nurses, patients and their families, i.e. the very people the NHS is meant to help, will be the ones to suffer most. It is true that we are required as healthcare workers to have hepatitis B vaccinations, but that has a long history of um, uh, a long safety record. And also the protection can last a lifetime, several decades. But the COVID vaccine, we don't know how long it will last. Um, and generally it will last maybe about six months or so. So we can't keep vaccinating ourselves. Um, it's just very unclear. So there are a variety of reasons why I'm just not happy myself to take this vaccine. I'm not anti-vaccine. I just think that we shouldn't be forced to do something. We were never forced to do to take any other vaccine or any drug or do anything actually. No one's forced us and yet now the government are forcing us to choose between our job or to, to take a vaccination we may not want to do. I speak I think mainly for the hospital doctors who are, they've been amazing and they've been exposed to so much Covid over the past couple of years. Um, you know, when we're all sort of safely in our, in our homes, isolating or, you know, keeping out of harm's way, they're out there, they're treating um, COVID patients and uh, patients with all sorts of other things like TB and others. You know, all the time we're putting ourselves out there and we're risking getting various illnesses. So we, we should be able to decide for ourselves whether we think we are willing to take that risk. So I made the decision having had COVID quite badly as well, that I didn't think I needed to have the vaccine and I don't want to have it. But other people, if they want to have the vaccine, that's fine, that's their choice. So what I'm saying is I'm not anti-vaccine, I'm not anti-government, I'm not anti-pharmaceutical, but I'm, 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 I'm just for choice. If patients don't want to, you know, I'm very happy to have a badge saying, I haven't been vaccinated, you don't have to see me if you don't want to that's fine. And if they don't want to, that's absolutely the patient's choice. But if I'm willing to see them and put myself into contact with so many patients who could be ill and willing to get things, then, you know, they should be willing to, to, to decide for themselves what they want to do. And there are many patients I know who will be very happy to see me. I have no political or financial agenda. I just want to speak out on behalf of all those healthcare and other workers who stand to lose their livelihood. As it is hard for them to make themselves heard, I am compelled to be their voice.